Well, hello there. Beer Guy Reviews. My name is Guy. Coming to you from downtown Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. With Cousin Pascal. Get ourselves a special beer sent to me from Logan from the Tech Syndicate. Hey, thanks to you, Thank Logan. Thank you, Logan. We got a crazy, crazy. I think this is double IPA. We heard good things about this. Beer. Heavy Topper. The Alchemist of Vermont. Eight percenter. One pint. Says the Alchemist, Waterbury, Vermont. It's a beer from where? Is it? Vermont. Vermont. Waterbury. Vata. Waterbury, you gotta bury the water uh, in my face. In the lake. So. Yeah. So this should be freaking awesome. It should be. Well, what should I say? So it says drink from the can. So like the other one, we're just gonna do a little bit in the glass. Oh, that looks thick. I like that. Yes. Oh yes. Here. Foggy and thick. Little bubbles. I like the bubbles. Oh, there's a communication error on your phone. We're back. But we're not moving too much. All right, we're good. We're good. we're good. That's what it looks like. Foggy and thick and there. Thank you. Short head. Just, just now. I have my right, disappointing and citrus. Yeah, I just my IP for me. A bit fruity on the sides there. Yeah, maybe maybe a fruity note. But... A little bit of grapefruit, not that much, just a little bit. Yeah, I get the grapefruit. Bit of sweetness. Cheers. Cheers. Oh ho! Ah! Get the fruity note. What? Wow. <laughs> it's good. It's like bitter mango. Fruity. Good fruity note. Well, bitter, yeah. Smell more pine. Yeah, than it tastes. It doesn't taste that much. Then the citrus and grapefruit. Bam! In your face. Yeah. Just tastes like mango. Yeah. Oh. There's all kinds of notes and then flavor notes. So your medium body a bit higher than medium. Beer. Flavors all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Fruit punch in the face. I love it. I love it. Oh ho ho. This might be one of my top men. Saying. It's very good. Mmm. So far, yeah, the it's best different. the best IPA we had still beyond the pale. Super Rai Rai guy or Rai oh, Gi. That's the best one we ever had, but the, this one is up there. Oh yeah. Like it, it's different from those IPAs. Typical ideas. Yeah, com compared to the Beyond the Pale, this is more like single fruit. You get different notes, flavor, like flavor notes. I don't know, it's. It's very good though. Uh -huh. very good. Okay, I uh, can't test. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's crazy pine mango. Smells crazy. So, taste is, is the same pretty much on the glass, but it smells different. Mm. 
I'd say a little bit more fruity in a can. I don't know. It's, I smell more than I can, but drinking a glass is pretty similar, I find. I find. Oh, it's kind of more con concentrated in the can. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close, though. Yeah. Okay. So, indeed, do drink it out of a can. Leave it in a can. Yeah. So, uh. Living in the fridge. So, um. Score? I think it's probably like nine, nine, nine-ish. Yeah, like I want to go nine and rescore the Beyond the Pale Super Rye guy. I don't know, Super Imperial Gi? That one I'll give it like, I'll change it back to a ten. Cool. That's my favorite of all time, but uh, yeah, this one's up there too. Well, the Beyond the Pale, I think we rated pretty high. Because I wasn't nine, but I should give it a ten. It's yeah. the best one I ever, ever had. Nine point five, nine maybe, but this, yeah, this is, yeah, this is an easy nine. Yeah, easy nine, easy nine. So big uh, thanks to you, Sir Logan. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>